Okay, so we're here in Cincinnati, Ohio, and uh, we're speaking with my client, Eileen Hayes. And Eileen, uh, talk to me a little bit about your experience of working with the stylist and why you decided to do that. Well, I decided to work with a stylist because I got a new job that required me to dress very professionally. And I haven't had a position of this nature in probably 20 years. So I was used to going to work wearing jeans, t-shirts. I never had to dress up. But now with this new position, I'm expected to wear suits, nice blouses. And honestly, I didn't know where to start. You know, I was trying to go by myself and shop and I just would stand in the middle of the department store just in awe, not knowing where to begin. Didn't know what looked right on me, you know, so I felt like I needed a lot of help. And with your shape, did you realize you were a petite? I can't remember that. Were you in the petite department before we started shopping? No, I was not. I was looking in just regular sizes, and every time I put on a pair of pants, I knew that I was going to have to have it hemmed four or five inches, and it just, they weren't fitting correctly, but I kept thinking that's what size I was, you know, I'm a size 8, I need to be a size 8, and even if they didn't fit right and I really should have moved up a size, I couldn't get past that, so I just would put the item back on the rack and not buy it. So once you found out that a 10P <laughs> was the same as an 8, I was willing to do that. I got past that obstacle, particularly when I put the clothing on and realized how nicely it fit, and really there was little need for alterations. So it was, it was wonderful. So you got a new wardrobe. I know we, we picked up the wardrobe right before you started your job. Yes. Were you in the interview phase, or had you already received the job? I had gotten the job already, and I have to admit... I didn't even pick out the dress that I interviewed in. My 13-year-old daughter and her girlfriend came with me and picked the dress out. And it was a dress that I normally would have never put on, but they talked me into it, and it looked great. Made me feel like I really was inadequate in shopping for myself. <laughs> so this is a few months after you've received your wardrobe. Well, we worked together. Now you're in your position, and I see the outfit you're wearing today is lovely. Thank you. I picked it out all by myself. <laughs> Excellent. Based on the recommendations, I see you're doing a lot of what we had um, suggested to you. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I have to admit, I was a person who had a tendency to just wear solid colors, kind of stayed away from patterns, um, would never have picked a pair of shoes like this. That Beautiful is just way shoes. out of my style. But when I put them on and put these outfits together, it was it just went so well and it looks I think it looks great. And I've gotten lots of compliments. People are really kind of surprised. They're not used to me being dressed like this. And they thought you had lost weight, too, yes, right? One of your first did. comments? Yes. You've lost weight. You look different, is the comment <laughs> that I got from more than a few people. But, uh, you know, I, I love the style. And I think what I really enjoy, too, is that because I'm wearing the appropriate size for my body, I'm comfortable. I'm not always adjusting. I can, you know, sit wherever and be comfortable and not have to about pulling skirts down or whatever. And it goes back to my adage that if you're wearing proper business clothes and it, the way you know they're right is if they're as comfortable enough to sleep in or sit on the floor and work in and that's when you know you have the right clothes. Absolutely. So the C word, the comfortable word, does not have to mean frumpy. It can mean looking great but still totally comfortable. Exactly. Exactly. So how do you feel now in your new wardrobe and I in your new position? It. I love it, and I feel like I can do this myself now. Um, you know, Kathy gave me a really good foundation. She explained my body type, what types of clothing to look for, even the length of my skirt that matches best with my, you know, my leg shape, and it's just made it so much easier. I have to admit, all this money that I'm making, I'm spending on lots of new clothes, but it's fun, <laughs> and I know what I'm doing. And you're buying the basics and you're buying things that really work for your body exactly. shape. Exactly. I feel like I have a really good basic wardrobe and then I just add to it. 
you know, nice blouses, new shoes, accessories, and it really just ties everything in. Because we were able, I think at the beginning, we were able to get your basic essential elements. You know, we got your perfect black slacks. We got your perfect sheath mm -hmm. dresses. We got uh, the perfect shaped, you know, jersey knit dresses for you. And I think you learned your rules really, really well. And, of course, patterns are lovely on you. Okay. Thank you. And I, I love them. I would have never worn something like this before. But... <laughs> Kathy taught me to be a little bit more adventurous and kind of get out of my comfort zone. And I have, and now I have a new comfort zone, which is wearing patterns and you know, things that I never would have worn. Before. And metallic shoes. And Let's metallic see those shoes. shoes. Beautiful. Yes, I love, them. I love, love the metallics. Shoes. Absolutely. <laughs> so overall, uh, would you recommend? Who would you recommend to work with a stylist? Oh, you know, really just about anybody, but particularly if you're entering into a, a new job situation, um, perhaps if you've lost a lot of weight or something and you just don't know where to begin, having a stylist can really guide you into, you know, picking out clothing that really makes you look good. And then if you feel good on the outside, you definitely feel good on the inside. And I believe you save a lot of money because you end up buying clothes that you actually wear. Yes. You know, I have to say, I was always a shopper who went for the cheapest price. And so I would buy clothing and really it wouldn't last. And having this person help me, I realized, you know, sometimes it's worth it to pay a little bit more to get a high quality piece of clothing because it does, it lasts far longer and you do end up saving money. And then, you know, you can accessorize, you know, that basic black skirt forever. You know, which isn't the case when you buy cheap things. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Especially you get that perfect little black skirt that you bought on the cheap and then it dies in a year. Exactly. And then you're wounded and say, oh, i got to find the skirt. And then you can't find the good one again. Exactly. So. Exactly. It's worth it to spend a little bit more money and definitely to have help. Well, congratulations on your uh, new improved image. I think Thank you look lovely. You. And you're a very good student. It's exciting to see you three to four months later actually picking out the clothes that are perfect for your body shape. Yeah. I think you've got it wired. I'm loving it. You know, Kathy is just amazing. And, I would, and um, her company adds space to your life. You know, I would recommend it to just about anybody. You can't go wrong. She knows what she's doing, and she's really nice. <laughs> she doesn't yell at you or anything, but she does offer a lot of constructive help, and that's what a person like myself needed. Well, thank you very much, Eileen. You're welcome. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. All thumbs are welcome. And hit the join button to continue on your path to looking your best. Don't forget to join.